Oh wow. July 18th, 1975. So this was right behind the uh, hospital. Yeah, the history on this place is very sad and unusual. 61-year-old William Montague exchanged inside information that would benefit contractor Michael Forlani in exchange for money, gifts, and a consulting contract that paid Montague more than $156,000. Now, if the name Michael Forlani sounds familiar, that's because he is now in prison after pleading guilty to racketeering, bribery, and other charges in the county corruption probe. Forlani was a major contractor on the Consolidated VA Medical Center campus. Montague, who ran the Cleveland VA Medical Center for 15 years, is charged with, among other things, bribery bribery, money laundering, mail and wire fraud. Now, last fall, the U.S. Inspector General came in and called the whole consolidation of the two facilities, Brexville and Cleveland, a mess, saying that instead of saving taxpayers money, it will end up costing more than a half billion dollars over the next 20 years. You guys better love me for this one. The abandoned VA hospital. Let's get it.
Wow. Alright, um, no papers in the file cabinet. There's some old gauze and yeah, it's just crazy. This looks like it's been uh, used. Whatever it is. And there's some more stuff packed up, ready to go. Clock still ticking. I think I'm getting close to the room that I'm looking for. Some of this stuff looks familiar. It's an American sterilizer. Man, this mechanism looks so crazy. Like a big safe. I'm going to assume these are blueprints to the uh, medical facility. Yeah, somebody took them right out of these drawers right here. And this must be the hospital back in the day. 
Although it looks a little different. Yeah, this is the hospital. This is a little different for MRIs. Had a couple of those before. Okay, this is the room I was looking for, finally. I wonder what this powder substance is. It's a retinal camera.
Yeah, just endless waste. All right, well, let's go to another section of this hospital, see what else we can get into. All right, everyone, I had to uh, charge uh, some of my batteries and everything for a little bit. So I went around and uh, uh, started poking around the uh, hospital a little bit. And um, there's some weird stuff going on here. I don't get scared at all. This is the, uh, actually this is a church right here, but I'm gonna go to the, uh, the section I was telling you about, cause we are gonna actually go, well, since we're here, I'll just go ahead and come here right now. Wow. This place has been a little bit destroyed since I've been here last. And it hasn't been that long. Wow. But I'm, I'm only gonna stay here just for a little bit. Uh, so I can cover the rest of the hospital. Okay, it's towards this section. Down this way. And there's, <clears throat> excuse me, four buildings down that way. So we got a lot to cover, I tell you that. Like this is this is the area right here. Like my. This is just crazy. Like, I cannot feel my fingertips at all. Like, I've seen videos, you know, seen stuff on movies when they talk about, like, I can feel cold or the temperature just dropped. Yeah, I apologize again for the hard breathing, but definitely have to have this respirator on. Hey guys, look how cold it is.
Ooh. What do we have here? Oh, none of that stuff I'm gonna touch. But it looks like it's just empty. Uh, let me see what some of the stuff is. Ah, oh, yeah. Urine. Toxicology. Same thing here as well. Contaminated? What the heck? Oh, shit. Gotta keep it family friendly. So, no cursing. Huh, what's this? Oh. These are uh, song books from the church upstairs. <clears throat> I don't know if this. Oh shit. Oh, I think the security. Security is right outside. Huh. Yeah, they're right outside this window. So I'm gonna have to be uh, really cautious here, guys. So. I'm not saying anything, uh, just be patient until I get around an area that, uh, I feel comfortable, but, um, 
I don't know, this is just like some, I don't know, kind of fiber optic, uh, oh, some kind of fiber optic, I don't know, machine of some sort. Uh, oh, some labels, but this is where all the uh, medicine would be kept. Alright guys, I'm about to go, uh, get to a little safer area, so uh, uh, bear with me, I'll be back here in just a second. It's crazy how parts of this hospital is untouched and other parts is oh, messed up. Really decayed. Guys, to show you that we didn't even make a dent. Look at this. I mean, this is not even a third of the uh, hospital. I mean, I, I can go on forever. I mean, there's no way I can cover the whole entire place. Oh well, we're gonna uh, try to get as much uh, covered as possible, so. Oh, looks like I'm going to try to go straight ahead. Let's get there. All right, everyone. Uh, I'm Now I'm heading to a part that uh, I haven't been. So uh, we're going to be exploring this place for the first time together. Um, occupational therapy. Let's, occupational therapy, that might be where the gym is. All right, everyone, I just found the, uh, the gym. So the last time, I just missed it. Well, I didn't come down this corridor, so. I totally missed it. <clears throat> well, you guys already, you already know, it's like official, America wastes the most. I mean, look at this, check this out. I mean, all of this stuff can be donated to another uh, veteran hospital can be sold. I mean, the longer it sits here, you know, it's getting destroyed by, uh, you know, water, of course, but, I mean, if they would have just sold this stuff when they closed the hospital, I mean, it could have it <clears throat> served a purpose somewhere else.
I mean, tons of stuff. Somebody forgot their backpack. Slipknot. I mean, this is just crazy. I'm going to let you guys just go ahead and soak this in a little bit. This is insane. Yeah, I'm glad to see no graffiti. I mean, there's a couple items in the pool, but yeah, there's no graffiti in here. everyone let's uh let's check out the abandoned bowling alley oh, I think I went, in, oh, I went into the other entrance the last time but This place is a little bit more vandalized since the last time I was here. I don't know why people just vandalize stuff. I, I mean, just come in and you know and enjoy a really cool uh, abandoned hospital and leave it at that.